Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about using the quadratic formula. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 8a squared plus 6a equals a negative 5, and we need to solve this using the quadratic formula. Well, first thing I want to do is bring the 5 over to the left-hand side. We have 8a squared plus 6a plus 5 now equals 0. The point of that is, well, we want our equation equal to zero to use the quadratic formula. So, using the quadratic formula, x equals a negative b, b value is 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 6 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 8, times c, which is 5, all over 2 times a, which is 8. So now let's go solve this, break it down. Well, negative six right there, plus or minus. Let's deal with inside the square root. Six squared is a 36, and four times eight times five is a 160. So we have minus 160 here. All over two times eight, which is 16. Keep on going. X equals a negative six, plus or minus, and inside the square root, 36 minus 160 is a negative 124, all over 16. Right now, we have a square root with a negative. That means we have an imaginary number, okay? So how does this break down? Well, x equals a negative 6, plus or minus, and the square root of negative 124 can be broken down to be the square root of 4, times the square root of 31, times the square root of negative 1. and it's all over 16. Break down what we know. x equals a negative 6, square root of plus or minus, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 31 doesn't simplify, and the square root of negative 1, well, that's an i, all over 16. So let's go rewrite this here, simplify a little bit, and I'm gonna pull a 2 out, actually, out of the numerator. By pulling a 2 out, I'm left with a negative 3, plus or minus, and I put the i in front of the square root of 31, over eight, uh, 16. <laughs> All right. So, see I pulled that 2 out of both parts. Now, 2 goes into 16, we have 8 here. So we have x equals a negative 3, plus or minus i square root of 31, over 8. We can write this as two individual statements, as x equals a negative 3 plus i square root of 31 over 8, and negative 3 minus i square root of 31 over 8. And that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.